Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing skincare for the fall as we transition into the colder months. I really turn my focus over to oils and really hydrating moisturizers, less on the toning and less on the peeling, less basically on anything that's gonna cause the skin to be even drier and more flakier than it already will be because of the cooler temperatures. So with that, I'm gonna jump right in. I've basically organized my table here to have all the different products. I have cleansers, serums, oils, sunscreen, moisturizer, and one peel, and then just one random product too. So let's get right into this. <laughs> In the morning and night, I do cleanse. I've heard people say that you only want to cleanse once a day. Now, I cleanse twice because I get sweaty, oily, and there's just so many toxins in the air that you really do want to cleanse twice a day, in my personal opinion. So, I have three different cleansers. I think just three, yes. So, the most moisturizing one of all is from Rodile, and I never know if it's Rodale or Rodile. I feel like Rodale sounds better, but it looks like Rodile. Either way, this is the Bee Venom Cleansing Balm. This is very oily, feels kind of greasy, but actually it's brilliant because it is so moisturizing and so hydrating as you're cleansing your skin. You don't really feel dry once you're done cleansing, which I appreciate, and I think it's really nice for the fall and winter time because you get a little bit of moisture while you're also stripping your skin. And this is also pump situation. You know I love that. Nice and clean, easy to get out of the packaging, just pump it through. And this has lasted me quite some time. I've been using this pretty regularly. But like I said, I like that it's moisturizing while also cleansing the skin. So this is one of the best ones that I have at the moment. This is just a classic for me and i love that they come in these smaller sizes but this is the soy face cleanser from fresh beauty i have this size and there's like half the size and then there's like a tiny little sample size these are so good for traveling because it is a really good cleanser on the go and constantly so it's a day-to-day -day really nice cleanser not super drying you don't really feel like your skin is parched after you've used it. So I've always appreciated this one and it smells really light and pleasant. It's nothing overpowering, which again is really good, especially in the colder months. You really don't want something that's got too much fragrance, it means it's got a lot of chemicals. And the third one that I really love is from SkinCeuticals. You're gonna start to see the same brands over and over for me because I really do stick to a particular few skincare brands because they are my tried and true. I've used them for a long time. I've had really good results. Um, so yeah, you're gonna see kind of the same brands over and over. Um, this is the SkinCeutical Simply Clean Gel. This is a refining cleanser. It has a light acid, but it is meant to stimulate a little bit of exfoliation. Now, typically I would stay away from something like this during this time period, because like I said, your skin's already dry, it's peeling, you're gonna have some of that flakiness coming off just because the colder weather is going to turn over your skin. You're gonna get those flakes up top. It's totally normal, especially if you're not as into skincare as some of us are. I mean, I have like hundreds of products that I'm using constantly and I exfoliate. As soon as I see one little flake, I exfoliate the crap out of my face, then rehydrate. So I can get through those flaky moments pretty quick, but most people can't and they'll end up with this dry skin for a long time. Now, this one in particular, I do like because it does have the light exfoliation. So at the first sign of any issue, you use this, you're gonna gently exfoliate that skin, get it off of the top layer, just kind of start creating that cell turnover, which then you're gonna wanna focus on one of the next steps that I'll talk about, which is moisturizing and using oils, basically getting that hydration back into your skin. So this is, really nice to kind of get that cell turnover going. So between the three of these, if you're having a dry day, 
you want to get rid of that top layer of skin, I would recommend this. This is definitely going to be a little bit more drying. Your skin will feel like you just cleanse it. It's kind of like when you brush your teeth, you have that clean sensation in your mouth and you like it, but your mouth also feels kind of dry because you just cleaned it, if that makes sense. So that's the feeling you're going to get here. This is really right in the middle for me. It's not super drying and it's also not super moisturizing. So right in the middle, this is the hydration key. I love, love, love this cleanser. Anytime I feel like I need an extra boost of hydration before the hydration, I use this. So absolutely recommend this if you guys are about to be going through the cold winter months, especially on the East Coast, or if you live in like Canada, somewhere that it actually gets cold, <laughs> I would recommend those. Now, the next step, let's do serums. We got all sorts of serums here. Actually, I'm gonna talk about the peel really quick because it's the only one I have because it's the only one I use. I love Dr. Dennis Gross. Pretty much Dr. Dennis Gross everything I love, but the peel pads are really the signature ride or die product. And I use the really intense ones. So you can see down here at the bottom, this is the red one. They have a blue one, which is very gentle. If you've really never exfoliated your skin before, if you've never had a facial, if you've never had a peel, you wanna start with the blue one. The orange one is the most common one. It's universal. It's what most people will use because it's not too intense. This one is really for those who do this all the time. If you're basically peeling, let's just say two, three times a week, if you've had a chemical peel before, if you've had facials before, your skin is probably gonna need something stronger than the orange universal one. So I go with these. Now I'm gonna take one of these out and actually read to you what this product claims that it's supposed to do. So it says two minutes to smooth a beautiful skin. So to use, you're gonna use this either daily in the AM or the PM. First time peel users may apply every other day and the, until the skin becomes acclimated. Massage step one onto clean dry skin until pad is dry. Wait two minutes, repeat with step two. To further enhance results, follow it with a serum and moisturizer from Dr. Dennis Gross, of course. So the first one is really to exfoliate and smooth the skin. So you're gonna rub this all over your face for about two minutes, then you're gonna let that dry, then you're gonna run this over, and this is the anti-aging neutralizer. Now I'm gonna start doing the skincare routine with you guys because I have already cleansed my skin. I used the SkinCeuticals one this morning. So I'm gonna do this now and just kind of show you my process i actually really enjoy doing skincare on myself and i enjoy telling other people how to do skincare especially my friends but it always it's just so therapeutic and it just feels nice and it's kind of like you're giving yourself a spa treatment without the hefty price tag although these are a little bit pricey i'm not gonna lie <laughs> especially this pack because this has 30 treatments so I think this is somewhere in the 125 to 150 range, which is quite expensive, but a chemical peel would cost you at least 150, 200 at a local spa, depending on exactly what you're getting. So you're definitely saving money by doing this on your own, but also, you know, it does add up. And I did mess around with my eyebrows today because they've recently been, well, I went in for my third touch up for microblading. So I go once a year and I was messing with them earlier because there was definitely some dryness going on. And now that I'm doing this, it's kind of burning. So don't recommend doing that. But you know, I just like to live life on the edge <laughs> as always. Okay. So we're gonna let that dry a little bit. And then we're gonna go in with the anti-aging neutralizer. So if your skin kind of feels tingly after step one, that's okay because that is the exfoliator. This is supposed to actually stop any tingling or discomfort. And I kind of go all the way down my neck to give that area a little bit of love. And sorry if you guys can hear Aaron in the background. He is working from home and he's on a call. 
Ooh, those eyebrows burn a little bit. Not gonna lie about that. Okay, so that's the peel pad. You can do these daily. I do them like every two to three days, mainly because I just don't have the time to commit to doing that every day. And it's also supposed to be like sort of therapeutic. And I feel like I'm constantly rushing and on the go. Now, the next step I'm gonna talk through is serums. So let me just get comfortable here. I just noticed that's a pump situation. Okay, so I've got four of my top serums here, and actually I'll show you the labels, which may help. Um, let's talk about this one first. So this is the Dr. Dennis Gross Pore Perfecting and Refining Serum. Back to Dr. Dennis Gross. So this is an all-over treatment for clean, dry skin. You want to follow with a moisturizer of your choice, but this is really to help pores. Um, what I find with this, this is a very hard product to gauge how well it's working because you're not going to have instant results. You know, your, your pores aren't going to disappear all of a sudden. Those are genetics, sweetheart. So <laughs> um, the best way to describe this is that your pores look cleaner, healthier, more glowy, less dark, um, less prominent. They're always going to be there, but the goal is really to try to make this effect that they look smaller than they actually are. Now, I really do target this specifically where I have the most pores, which I feel like most people do, which is on my cheeks. And I just dab this in and I kind of press hard so it goes deep into my pores. This really does help long term, especially if you're using this regularly in a particular place that you feel is really prominent for you. I also have pores obviously on my forehead. They get really prominent here between my eyebrows, but the cheeks are really what I notice when I look in the mirror and I see my cheeks, I'm like, whoa, we gotta figure a way to minimize these or make them look a little less crazy. Um, the other thing, I've mentioned this before in other skincare videos, but when you're applying serum, you really wanna use your fingertips. I know some people think that that's gross or whatever, but use clean hands, obviously. But you really wanna press into the skin because the idea of pressing it in is that it's getting deeper than if you're just like slathering it on the surface of your skin. So you really do wanna like gently kind of press and do like a little motion where you're pressing, but gently obviously, you're not trying to tug your face all over and age it too quick. You wanna be gentle with everything that relates to your face. So there's a package. <laughs> Like I saw a squirrel, there's a package. Um, okay, so the other two serums, so I'm a huge advocate of vitamin C, okay? Vitamin C is key. <laughs> and the reason I love vitamin C, let me get comfortable here because I, I have a lot to say about vitamin C. So I have two, I have the Drunk Elephant and the Dr. Dennis Gross. Vitamin C is really, really beneficial in the morning before you go to work, before you get your day started, before you go outside. Vitamin C is basically going to help your skin perform at a higher caliber level. And it's hard for me to put that in any other way, but basically it helps your skin avoid the toxins and things that you're going to be experiencing throughout the day. It actually helps your skin operate much more efficiently because you've given it the vitamin C that it needs. Now, just the same as us, we need vitamin C on the regular. In order for your skin to perform to its highest capacity and the best cell turnover, the best glowing skin, all of that, you do need vitamin C on the regular. Now, vitamin C has definitely been coming up over the last couple, I wanna say maybe five years, people actually know that they need vitamin C on their face, but they're still not very good about it. I still have people in my life who think that Dove body soap is okay to wash their face with. It's not, my eyes are gonna start twitching if any of you tell me that that's the case for you. However, I'm just glad that people are really starting to understand that they do need vitamin C. And these two are incredible. Drunk Elephant just does such a great job with all their packaging, but I love how you don't have a lid. You don't have to like do anything super annoying. You just twist this open and you have a beautiful pump. This vitamin C serum is incredible. I actually really love this. And I think I do prefer it over the Dr. Dennis Gross one, 
but the Dr. Dennis Gross one is still really good. I do find this one is more liquidy and this one is more oil-based. And for me, I do prefer vitamin C to be more oil-based just because that seems to jive a little bit better with my dry skin, whereas this liquidy, watery type of situation isn't as effective. However, it really just depends on your preference. Do you like oil or do you like something that feels more like a moisturizer? It's really up to you. So I'm going to do Drunk Elephant right now. And you can even kind of see, let's see if I can get close enough. It's definitely more oily and it kind of has that like thick intensity to it that makes it more oil based. So this just feels really nice to me. Again, gently pressing, 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 pressing. I'm going to sound silly but incredible vitamin C serum. And I've recommended this Drunk Elephant one to many people and everybody has loved it so far. So you really can't go wrong with Drunk Elephant. Can't go wrong with Dr. Dennis Gross. And then the other serum I have here, which is not, this is also kind of a random one in my opinion, but it's La Mer. Everything from La Mer is so fantastic. It's just very expensive. This is the Regenerating Serum. And nothing on here actually tells me what it does, but this is more hydration from what I've noticed. It is definitely more of like a moisturizer. It's less of a serum in the sense that it's thicker, but it has a very pleasant scent and it really does help with the glow and the collagen of the skin. I've just noticed that anytime I use this at night, I wake up the next morning and my skin is just much more glowy. So now what I've started doing is actually applying this during the day and it goes underneath my makeup because it also gets a little tacky, making the makeup stick on a little bit better. So that's my little lineup of serums. So there you go. We're gonna move on from serums now. gonna do this product last okay where do I want to go next so let's talk about oils because they're extremely important right now uh, we've got and I think this was a serum too but this is more okay I lied to you guys I have one more serum <laughs> another drunk elephant one this is the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. So this also is very thin, lightweight, feels more like a moisturizer to me than, let's just see, I wanna tell you the accurate thing. Yeah, it feels more like a thin moisturizer to me than, yeah, than an actual serum because serums have a way of being a little bit thicker a little bit more tacky. This just feels like a lightweight moisturizer. However, what this is, is a lot of, so this one says vitamin, ceramide, provitamin B5. So it says like a cool drink of water for your thirsty skin, this ultra hydrating serum replenishes the complexion and improves the look of skin and texture formulated with provitamin B5 and pineapple ceramide. B Hydra delivers steady hydration throughout the day, leaving the skin more illuminated. So this is really just an intense serum that's going to help during this time of year. I really like anything that's intense hydration or marketed as. This is more lightweight in my opinion, but I think that underneath a more intense moisturizer would be perfect or even under an oil. So just double up on the hydration. I love that stuff. I think it has a really nice consistency. It has nice results. It's a good intensive serum. Now I'm really, for reals, for reals, going to move to the oils. Uh, we've got three oils. Three oils, two moisturizers, two sunscreens, and one random product that I'll talk about last. So we're getting through this. So La Mer, this is the renewal, renewal oil. Wow, talking is hard. I am getting to the bottom of this one. Listen, I'm a sucker for oils. I just love them so much. If I didn't have all these like face oils, I would definitely be just putting like olive oil on my face because I love, I love oil, but I don't like when my skin produces it. Now, a lot of people, again, something I've mentioned many times, a lot of people have this misconception that if you have oily skin, you don't need oil. 
that's inaccurate. Actually, you need more oil than anybody else because what your body is doing is producing oil that's going to be a result of the food you ate, what you drank, the sweets you consumed, and that oil is typically not good. You don't want your skin to create its own oil because it will always be a result of your diet, and it's just not an ideal oil. You really want something that's actually meant for your skin. Um, you, we, you know, we go into like jojoba oil, which is amazing for all parts of your body. Just incredible for that cell turnover, really makes that skin nice and glowy, nice and soft. These oils are formulated with all kinds of essential oils. And I don't know the exact ingredients of this one, but this does have a pleasant scent. So I imagine it's got something in here that is more chemically, in my opinion, just because these scents that aren't natural smelling, it's not like it smells like lavender and coconut. It smells like a slight fragrance, which means it's got a little bit of chemicals. So what you'd want to stick with typically, this one is one of my favorites, another Drunk Elephant product. This is the Luxury Facial Oil. I've used two bottles of this. This is bottle number three. Um, this is just one of the best face oils of all time. And let's see what it says here. Rehab for your skin, rich in critical antioxidants and omega-6 and 9. Marula balances and nourishes while restoring a youthful glow. This is truly, truly, truly like hand on my heart, one of the best oils of all. And it's actually more see-through. So I know it's got less chemicals. That one's really yellow, but it's not, I don't know how to describe it. I just feel like the La Mer one has ingredients in there that probably aren't ideal, but it's so good and it works really well. And sometimes just like I believe with Dr. Ness Grow, sometimes you need the chemicals in order to get the results you want. So I'm okay with chemicals occasionally. I just feel like there's fragrance in there and you know how I feel about fragrance. <laughs> so, wow, my skin is gonna be so hydrated after this. <laughs> so hydrated. Okay. Wow, look at us. We are just, we're just getting crazy here. Okay, so that's one of my favorites. And then the last one that I've loved using while I've been traveling is actually this what is this? I don't even know how to describe it. It's called a layover hydrating ampoule. And basically how you use this, you massage just a few drops of the oil over the face to reveal softer, brighter, and more supple skin. This is really nice. It comes out in like this little pipette. Another beautiful product. This is from Wonder Beauty, um, a brand whose makeup I really love. You guys know that that Fever, Wondrous Fever Palette is one of my favorites. They have so much good skincare. They are technically, I feel like more of a skincare brand, but I use them more for the makeup, but they have both, which is amazing. And it's really meant for the woman, the girl, the person who is traveling, wandering through the world. And that's why they're called Wonder Beauty. Really great brand. I'm still more of a smaller, I would say not a boutique-y, but more of like I don't know. It's still a smaller brand. It needs more credit. Their packaging is beyond adorable. Everything is pink. Quality is incredible. Price point is good. Um, based out of New York City. Um, female run, female owned. I mean, it's just an incredible company. They just need more recognition. Any way that I can give them more recognition, I do because I just love their stuff. But like I said, I've been diving more into their skincare because I've just loved their makeup for so long, those eyeshadow palettes. I just love the Wondrous Fever palette because it gives me the blush, the highlighter. Everybody loves that highlighter on me. Okay, I, I don't get compliments when I wear any other highlighter. When I've got that highlighter on my cheeks, everyone's like, whoa, you're glowing to the heavens above. And I'm like, I know, Wonder Beauty. But that palette has the blush, the highlighter, and four eyeshadow colors, which are just perfect. They're more of like the warm brownie, like shimmery shades that I personally love. So that palette was literally made for me. So if you're anything like me, that palette is just incredible. And it just, it keeps everything in one place. Actually, I think I have it here. Let me just show you real quick in case you're new and you don't know. It's the Wondrous Fever Palette. I've been telling you the right thing. So it comes in this. And you've got 
let's see. <laughs> I just don't want to reflect back to you. So you've got the four eyeshadow colors, blush, and highlighter. This is my second Wondrous Fever palette. For those of you who have been around for some time, my first one I dropped during New York Fashion Week last year, and the blush just shattered everywhere, and then I already had hit pan on my highlighter. So, okay. So, wow, I digressed on Wonder Beauty. I'm gonna quickly get through the two moisturizers that I've been loving. Um, Daytime, another Rodale product, SPF 15 Dragon's Blood Hyaluronic Moisturizer. You guys know hyaluronic acid is fantastic for hydration. This also has SPF, which I love. Another pump situation, but really dirty because my foundation exploded in my makeup bag while I was in Europe, so such is life. Now, what I use at night, I honestly can't explain this facial moisturizer in any other way besides it is hydration and kind of like a face mask and a hug and just the ultimate treat for your skin. This is SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore 242. This is the best moisturizer I've ever used in my entire life. And this was actually a recommendation to me from Laura ZL Tucson, my local esthetician, med spa. Oh my gosh, it just feels so nice and cooling. It's the perfect consistency. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It truly, truly hydrates the skin. You can feel the hydration and like the cooling effect from this moisturizer instantly. It's incredible. And let's just see what they say on here. It says anti-aging lipid replenishment treatment. It's got 2% ceramides, 4% cholesterol, 2% fatty acids, and this is to correct the skin. This is just beyond. I mean, I put this on and I'm like, I'm ready for a nap. Like it just feels so good. The consistency is just right. Incredible. SkinCeuticals just kills it every time. And I used to get overwhelmed by how many products they have, but truly anything you get from them, if you just read the outside, Anything you get is going to work really well. It's just truly the best moisturizer ever. They've got a lot, but Triple Lipid Restore 242, you need to add it. Add it to your Christmas list. Somebody, it's expensive, but I think it's worth it and it lasts a really long time. I mean, you're using very small amounts. I use like three little drops all over my face right now and it's just oh, it's so nice. So those are the two moisturizers that I recommend for now. You've got your daytime, which is more lightweight with the SPF, but you're also getting the hyaluronic acid. And then you have the thicker cream that you would put at nighttime while you're sleeping to really replenish the hydration you may have lost throughout the day. Last two products, well, last category of products, I should say. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. My favorite, favorite, favorite. I love sunscreen so much. Um, Elta MD, we've heard so much about this brand in the last year. They are really known for the fact that their sunscreens have zinc oxide. And if you're not aware, zinc oxide is actually what reflects the sun's rays off your face. So when you have SPF, you obviously have two different types of rays. You've got UVA, UVB rays. And the difference between zinc oxide is that it's not only not going to get you sunburned, it's actually reflecting the rays off your face back into the universe. Now with just the typical SPF that doesn't have zinc, your skin is still absorbing the sun, but it's not causing the damage. So you're not getting sunburned because you're wearing SPF. When you have zinc oxide, it's actually reflecting it off. So you're not getting anti-aging, you're not getting spots. Um, I did suffer from little like brown speckly spots here under my eye because you guys know this area under your eyes is really thin. So the time that I do spend in the sun, that thin area is gonna get affected first. So it's gonna require long-term uh, healing in a way if you do get a lot of sun damage. So just find an SPF that does have zinc oxide in it as well. Um, I'm not really sure what Banana Boat and some of those like cheaper drugstore brands are doing these days. I don't know if they have zinc in there, but for the most part, we're finding now in a lot of research that those sunscreens have done nothing for us besides not get us sunburned, which is good, but you also want to reflect those rays off into the universe if you are spending a lot of time outside. Now, SkinCeuticals, just 
I love them. Sport UV Defense Sunscreen. This is SPF 50, water resistant for 80 minutes. This is Marathon Runner Tested. So this does not have zinc from what I can see. Yes, so this does not have zinc. This is really only helping to prevent that sunburn. Now, what I would use this for, because of the size of it, you would think this could be more of like a body sunscreen, but for me, I think it was really arms and maybe just a little bit of the chest and then face if I don't already have some kind of zinc sunscreen. So this is really helpful for the areas that are exposed, but you wouldn't want to cover your entire body in this because you're going to go through the bottle too fast, but it's much better than buying Banana Boat or some of those, like I already mentioned, the drugstore brands that don't really work very well and have a lot of chemicals in there because SkinCeuticals is a skincare brand. They do formulate their stuff a little bit better with a little less ingredients that are going to cause endocrine issues long term. So those are the two sunscreens. And then the last thing that I'm just getting to now, I'm really excited because Tezza, who is a huge source of inspiration for me, launched this product with Volition Beauty. This is the Screen Time Hydra Mist. And how you use this, you basically shake, hold about 12 inches from the face, apply throughout the day as needed for external purposes only. This is to help protect you from the blue light that is coming from all of our laptops, our phones, our cameras, um, TVs, whatever is causing blue light. I know not all of those things cause blue light for everybody, um, just based on what it is. I know some TVs don't. Your laptop does, your phone does. The screen time that you have every day is really aging your skin. It's causing different things to happen. And it's actually why a lot of people have now um, been talking about those blue light glasses. So when you're on your laptop, you wanna be wearing those glasses. This is basically the skincare solution to the blue light. So I kind of see this as more of, if you don't believe in the blue light and you think it's all hocus pocus, this is also a nice primer for your makeup. It's also a nice cooling mist in the middle of the day. And um, there's a lot of benefits here because it's formulated with some vitamins and nutrients that you do need. So I think this can be a really great product, even if you don't believe in the hocus pocus of blue light. I personally do because I know after not going outside for three days and just being on my laptop, I look like a vampire and my skin looks pale and beige and just not great. So I personally have experienced it, but some of you who are a little bit healthier and better off than me may not ever experience that. You may go outside every day and you may not have that issue. So anyway, again, I'm digressing, but this is something that I've been testing out. And so far I'm really enjoying this and I just like how it feels. Just reminds me of like the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Like why not just spray it on your face? Feels great. It's gonna give you a little extra vitamin boost. Nice and cooling. It's great. So that is it. That's a very long video. I'm so sorry I talked for so long, but I really wanted to give you a pretty extensive list of products here that you could add into your skincare routine. This is my transition into fall. Um, less on the sunscreen heavy side because you guys know I have like 10 different sunscreens during the summer and I'm reapplying throughout the day. So obviously less on the sunscreen side, more on the oil serum hydration side because that's really what we need this time of year. As always, my skincare may not work for you. You may try one of these products and think it's just the worst thing. It may break you out. This just works for me. Uh, tried and true as they say because i've tried these and i've used them for a long time so i just love them if you guys have any questions of course let me know down in the comments below as always i'll get to you but i can't say that this is going to work for you because this is just my personal experience with them but i do use a lot of skincare and these are definitely some really good ones and the brands that i always love um, between fresh beauty drunk elephant skinceuticals dr Ernest gross um, Rodiles, that's it, I think. Fresh Beauty, La Mer. <laughs> I'm like, I already said some of them. Anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Let me know if you have questions and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.